for cauliflower manchurian or gobi manchurian i have to first make a batter of the cauliflower along with approximately 100 grams of corn flour 50 grams of rice flour to make it a little bit crunchy salt to taste red chili powder you can also use paprika but uh, red chili was what it was available with me right now so i shall pull it put it through to make, give it a little bit of a spicy nature over here and last but not the least i shall be putting some black pepper powder so along with this i shall be adding some water in it and i shall be making it into a smooth paste and then i will be putting my oil in the pan and i shall be frying it once the batter is done i shall be going ahead and frying it in the for the gravy i have taken uh, approximately 150 grams of capsicum put it into uh, diced pieces like this in triangle form and then i have uh, put the onions approximately 200 grams of onions you know put pieces like this okay so that's the tradition of the chinese food whether it's manchurian or chili the pieces of the onions and the capsicum has to be like this okay and then i have taken my favorite which is garlic okay it will impart the flavor and then i have uh, made some slits with the green chilies to give it a little bit of a spicy taste and then for the gravy this is one of the ingredient which is corn flour which i have taken in order to thicken the sauce later on for the sauce i have taken some tomato ketchup some Szechuan sauce some soya sauce vinegar and uh, black pepper and salt to taste the main ingredients are right here in front of you remember the difference between chili and manchurian is chili is spicy we don't put tomato ketchup more often but manchurian is sweet sour and spicy once the oil is heated i shall be putting the cauliflowers once the gobi manchurian is fried beautifully then I shall go ahead and place it into the sauce. Now it's time to make the sauce. The first ingredient that we're gonna put is the garlic. I've used the oil which was left over after the frying. Once the garlic is brown in color, it's time for me to put the chilies. It's time for me to put the onions. or the green peppers once you have given it a nice stir just let it simmer for a little bit this, this is not a gravy that we are making so just remember guys that you have to cook this onion and the capsicums in half now it's time to add some black pepper some salt just remember to keep the salt quantity a little bit moderate because we will be adding soya sauce soya sauce already has some salt in it so later on if you want to add some more salt you can definitely do it after tasting just don't make it a little bit salty so I would suggest just keep it in a little bit moderate quantities give it a nice stir and see the melange of flavors out here it's absolutely perfect the Szechuan sauce first for the spice the tomato sauce for the sweetness the soya sauce the vinegar mm. 
Once the sauces are thoroughly mixed, you can go ahead and add some water. Put the flame on high. Once the sauce is absolutely perfect, go ahead and add some corn flour to it to thicken. And as soon as you do that, just put it in high flame again. This is absolutely perfect. It, it's sweet, sour, and it's spicy. And now's the time to add the main ingredient the cauliflower. Everything should be mixed together while it is in high flame. But keep it in high flame for too long because it can become soggy. So just auto mix it. I'm gonna do that. Wow, look at the color. And then go ahead and close it. Isn't it fabulous? Let's go ahead and plate this stuff. And here you go, after the plating, the Gobi Manchurian looks exactly like this. So please subscribe to my channel for more food vlogs and videos and for motivational videos. Do not forget to subscribe and like and share this video. And I shall be bringing more recipes like this every week.